back to Minute Watch. Kurt here, and this is the Seiko SNZH53, the blue glossy five, also known as the uh, uh, well, not also known, but a very, a very popular base for the 55 Fathoms mod in the modding community. And I've already done a AR coated sapphire crystal in this one, as you might be able to tell. Uh, but uh, yeah, I got all kinds of light. All kinds of light going on in this um, in this video, especially for overhead. But after I'm finished with this up upgrade, I will put some beauty shots at the end. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna put a Loom ceramic bezel insert from LCBIStore.com. Carlos over there at LCBI was kind enough to send me the blue version, which was made for the SNZH53. Now this one is obviously a little bit bluer than stock, as you can see, you can actually see the blue here, right? Whereas the other one is almost black in this in this video. So it's going to be interesting to see how this comes out. Um, some people might not like the the blueness of it, but I'm objective, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what it looks like. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take off the bezel. I'm gonna pop it off. Well, first I'm gonna tape up the lugs and stuff. Pop off the bezel. Then I'm gonna heat it up with a heat gun, and then kind of pry off this glass uh, uh, glass bezel insert. I also got an uh, uh, insert for for the sea urchin, the SNZF 15, 17, etc. But I'm going to have to actually get another one because I don't really want to change my SNZF mods. I think they're actually perfect the way they are. I got the Grand Urchin and the original, <clears throat> the original Bliss mod. I think these are perfect. Uh, and uh, I'm just gonna totally leave them alone because uh, such timepiece while watch, yeah, <laughs> such timepiece while watch, very loomy. No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. It's late. I worked on this kind of stuff all day. So anyway, let's get to it. Music's gonna pop up right now, and I'm gonna use uh, some really really good tape. I'm not gonna use painters tape. But I'm gonna use some really thick. Uh, uh, duct tape for the protection of this stuff. So here we go. All right, that should be enough. So now I'm going to grab a knife here. I'm just going to try to pop it off with a knife. I have, this is the first time I'm doing this, so uh, <clears throat> I may totally screw this up here, guys. Uh, wish me luck here. I do not want to. Uh oh, I don't want to oof this up here. Oof is what we used to say in Hawaii for the word sex. Small baby kid time, we used to say oof. Oh, you heard about the Kai and Khalil and Tina? They went oof. So, <laughs> little bit of a local Hawaiian culture going on here. Oh, there you go. So. That should uh, should pop up. I hope the insert doesn't get screwed. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna pop up real nice here. Ah, booyah! That came off pretty easy. Got to make sure that we don't mess up the screw this the uh, the retainer thing there. So we're just gonna leave that alone, and uh, I want to inspect this to make sure it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, it's all nice. Wait a minute. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab my heat gun. Look at wait, look at all this gunk that accumulated. Could you just look at it? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Look at all the gunk. Hold on, brah. Look at all that gunk that accumulated over the years in that in that little space. Let me smell them. <laughs> oh not a good smell. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back with the heat gun. All right, guys, got the my Wagner portable hand furnace, and I should probably put this on something that's not gonna get messed up. Uh, I'll just put it on a tablet. A tablet should work. Yeah, just put it on a tablet, right? No, that's not a good idea. Uh, nah, I don't know what to put it on here. Should I just hold it with my hand? Uh, just put on this clockwork synergy box here. That should do it. Yeah, perfect. So here we go. We're gonna we're gonna heat this sucker up, and I should be able to once it's heat up. I should be able to just pry it gently off. Uh, 
we shall see. That's enough. All right, so. Get that glue all undone. Ooh, that sucker is already super hot, bruh. Okay. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, that should just uh, come off now. I can actually smell the glue. Now, I don't exactly have an exacto. Exactly exacto. But I am going to try to get into the groove there. Girl, you got to prove your love for me. Oh boy, that was a terrible, terrible joke. See, I don't know what I'm doing with this insert. Like, uh, I've never done this before. I've only seen, like, uh, videos and such. So I'm real, I don't want to break it, so I'm being real careful, guys. I'm just letting you know that that's, that's how I am. Should not have cut my nails. Ugh. I'm going to have to figure this out. I need a super sharp knife. I've been real careful. Maybe I can just pry this sucker in. Been real careful. Oh wait, what what just happened? Nope. Mm. I do see the glue like coming out here some of the glue I mean if I break it it's not that big of a deal to me uh, but you guys don't want to see me break it right uh, do you you want me to see me break it uh, I don't know <laughs> uh, I feel like these videos are super boring so while I'm doing this I'll just uh, talk to you guys about stuff so what's going on in your world uh, me, I've recently been starting to do CBD oils. I think uh, I think they're great. It's been helping me with my pains. Uh, you know, all those dirt bike accidents have really made my body just yeah, aches and pains. Every time I wake up, it's just like, whoa, man. But uh, CBD oils have been helping me a lot. Uh, helps me with insomnia. That, uh, oh man, that gasket just came right out. You know what, I'm just going to take that gasket out. Uh, this, yeah, so the CBD oils really help me with my insomnia and all that other stuff. Uh, oh, here it comes. Oh, oh, it's good. It's, it's, it's happening, guys. Guys, this is happening. Oh, it's unhappening. It's just like the fappening. It happened. Uh, I don't want to take it too far. I don't want to put the... Ah eh, well, this thing is ruined. <laughs> it is super ruined. I have ruined my my LC uh, my SNZH53 insert uh, by scraping the underside of the paint. But you know what? Whatevs, because I can always get another one. So, yeah, guys, uh, if you're going to do this, uh, <laughs> uh, just be super careful. Uh, anything you stick inside here is going to get underneath the, the bezel insert and the paint's going to get all scraped up. So, I don't know of any other way to do this. So, you're just going to have to take the L. And do it that way. Oh shit. See, if this wasn't if this wasn't glass, this would be not so much of a pain in the ass, but it is glass. Oh, anime suggestion, guys. Uh Inuyashiki. You guys like anime. This this freaking show is crazy. Like it's really gnarly, like it'll shock you. <laughs> it, it it's not 
Like it's it takes it takes you there, man. It's it's about this old man. Oh, there you go. Would you just look at that? Oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit scraped up. See how I scraped it up right there between the thirty, right there, right there. Yeah. So this is a unfortunately this is toast, but you know when you mod things, that's what you risk, especially when you want to keep keep the original parts good but that's that's what we risk so gonna gonna clean up this part right here and then uh, I'll be back I like it to be completely clean and devoid of, of debris of any kind so you see there's still like remnants remnant residue so I'm gonna harvest some alcohol more Give a little bit more alcohol, guys. You know, there's nothing wrong with just having one more bit of alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So that should do it. That's good enough. All right, let's test fit the LCBI thing. That's kind of interesting. It is. It is a bit loose in there. It does move around a little bit. Uh, gotta get that sucker us really super centered on there. This is this. Look at this one. Is this? Does this one move around a bit? Yeah, this one also moves around a little bit. So, yeah, that's just they modeled it exactly. Yep. All right. So, I guess I'm gonna put the the bezel back on that way Ugh. oh man this tape ruined the strap look at that look at that it pulled off the top of the strap that is that is unacceptable anyway not gonna suggest this strap again so it won't be in the freaking thing below. I should have taken it off. What an idiot. Anyway, whatever. <sighs> that sucks. <sighs> Always take off your straps, guys. When you mod your watches, just take them off. As you can see, it was not a good idea for me to leave that on. And that tape wasn't even that sticky. <sighs> just absolutely disgusted right now. That was such a nice strap too. What ifs? Oh, I don't know how this will sit on. I don't know how this I don't know how that spring thing sat on there. Uh I'm guessing like that. Yep, okay. So we're gonna snap the bezel back on. The reason why I'm gonna put the bezel on first is because uh, you know that way you can uh, position your insert better and wherever you want it. So figuring out how to snap this back on might take some effort. I'm gonna use my uh, my crystal press. So this might be a good idea to to get a crystal press, guys, because then you can find what fits this is probably the most boring video I've ever made well, that fits perfectly look at that that's just perfect so yeah gonna get another one I feel like I'm boring the crap out of you guys because I'm bored <laughs> uh, but you guys like to see the process some people don't like to show the process, and I don't like to show the process. So let's see if this pops right on there. Yeah, I think that just yeah, booyah! Look at that. That just that just popped right on there. Cool. Crystal press, really good to have it for a multitude of reasons. Okay, now let's uh, let's just put that on there. Ooh, okay. All right, so we are going to try the the stuff that comes with 
the adhesive that comes with it uh, again and I and you, ugh, those of you who know me know that I never have good luck with these things uh, because of my butter fingers so but we're gonna try we're gonna try because that's what we do we try we try really hard I bet you guys want to like punch me in the face I don't blame you I want to punch me in the face two times okay so what's the best method of doing this I will grab a tweezers all right here we go tweezers have been grabbed and uh, we're just gonna put that real good I hope I don't have this one up guys really Oh man. Okay, this is already like this is already look at this, this is already like fucked up. <laughs> I just don't do this part very very well. Some people you guys got it. I I don't I never I never got this part good. This part always perplexes me. Maybe this time, maybe maybe this time, maybe 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 not. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem, no no doesn't seem like. It. <sighs> oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh oh uh oh. Do we have a connection, Houston? So before I get to the very edge, I'm going to pry off the other part, which is proving to be very difficult. Shouldn't have cut my nails, but I did, because I'm a dude, and I don't have long nails. What are you doing with long nails if you're a dude? If you're not an acoustic guitar player, uh, why do you have long ass nails? Dudes, this kind of stuff drives me absolutely crazy. I'm not a guy. I mean, when I'm when I'm doing it without the camera on, I love this kind of stuff. But when the camera's on, because I want people to not have to watch a 75 minute video of me fumbling around with a freaking piece of sticky tape, uh, I get all thoughtless. By the way, fatless is another thing that we used to say as kids in Hawaii. I don't know really what it means, uh, but I do know that it was used when somebody was all aggravated. Kaleo was all fatless. Like me right now, because I can't get the dang adhesive. If I used my glue, my normal glue, this whole process would have been done if I had used if I had done this in reverse and put it on the uh, a bezel instead there would have been all kinds of other complications because I am just not that good at these things wait a minute did that come off? I'm sure many of you are just laughing at me right now which is perfectly fine because I'm a freaking idiot when it comes to doing exactly these things. See, look at that. Look at this shit. This pisses me the fuck off. I can't stand this shit. <sighs> I get so mad. Like, like, why is this shit? Look at this shit. Like, sure, let's just pull off the cardboard, but none of the actual freaking. What the fuck is this shit? Look at that. That's so fucking useless. This thing. Absolutely useless. Garbage freaking adhesive. So I'm going to pull this shit. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, there you go. I am useless. <laughs> I am the useless one, guys. It's me. I'm the absolute fucking useless one. All right, so let's get it all lined up and all ready to go here. And uh, I think my eyeball vision is saying that's good. Gosh, I hope. And bam. Okay. Up, up, up. <sighs> yeah. The clickiness of the bezel just isn't good anymore. I don't know why. It's uh it's all loose. Because I forgot the goddamn gasket. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to fix all this and I'll be back. Alright gang, we're back and I fixed the issue and uh, put it on a uh, lovely blue NATO strap from Blue Shark Straps. Really, really, this is, it actually is a whole different watch now with this insert and that strap. I think it looks fantastic and stunning, stunning, stunning. Actually, the uh, the strap that I had on before, you know, the one that I freaking ruined, uh, I've worn that thing like maybe four times. <laughs> but that strap actually no longer matches this watch. Let me show you. Let me show you. Well, it might, but in my opinion, it, it super doesn't. So, uh, there you go. Look at that. And uh, focus. Come on. So, yeah, it doesn't quite match. It's too dark. Well, I mean, I guess it does a little, but bam, that is just way better. This thing is beautiful now. Might even use it on a NATO. And uh, for those of you who know me pretty good, you know that I don't really like NATO straps, but this one from Blue Shark is just glorious. It's got that shininess to it. So, the moment of truth, guys, you want to see the loom. So, I'm going to take off my... Uh, uh, Nope, my filter is not on. And I will grab all the lights and turn them off. Hold on a second. I'm on my desk, so I have to go far away here. And then I'm gonna turn off all the lights. All the lights are coming off, guys. Sorry about that. Turn off all the lights. Not a very well prepared video for you guys, I must say. Not a very well prepared video. So these are my computer lights. I'm gonna turn the ISO up to uh, 1600 is what I'm seeing with my face vision. There you go, 1600. And lights off. And moment of truth, guys. Never seen this before. Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing with you guys. Oh man, in the in the flashlight light, it's just it's actually kind of beautiful. I was. I was a little bit mad that the insert was more blue than stock, but I actually really like it now. All right, whoa, oh, there you go. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, uh, oh, excuse me, yes. It looks good. It looks real good. I can't wait to make another one. I'm gonna make another mod with the black one. I'm gonna put a whole different dial. It's gonna, I'm gonna keep it Seiko. I'm not gonna do the 55 Fathoms mod. Can't stand that mod. Uh, no, I don't, I should say I can't stand it, I appreciate it, but I just, I want, I like to keep my mods uh, Seiko, I like to keep my Seiko mods Seiko, hence the, the Bliss mod series, so I'm going to make another one in the black version, and it's going to be absolutely sick. Alright, turn on the lights again, oh, hit something, uh, I think it just spilled a bunch of chips and shit, uh, yep, did, totally did. And we are back, computer lights back on to light day. Back down to ISO 800. So, okay. Um, really stoked on this now, guys. Absolutely stoked. I may try to find another strap that uh, that works with this. But, oh, God, just... <laughs> I mean, look at it. Look at this mod now. I mean, it's simple. Not a whole lot was done. Got a crystal from Crystal Times Horology. The air coated. Uh, kind of a low dome there. Not a super dome. I don't know if you can see that. That new... Insert from Loom Ceramic Bezel Inserts, LCBI. Uh, looking pretty fancy. Uh, and this beautiful strap from 
with shark straps. So uh, stay tuned for the beauty shots at the end. And that's my video. Thanks for watching. What's up with this setup? You got this wood, all this wood crap, and, and what's, where's all the blackness? Uh, sometimes I like to sit at my desk, my back is hurting. So, yeah, what do you think about this new uh, new insert and the whole this whole setup? I think it's shit. Why? I don't know, I just, I just don't like you. Because you left us to die. I, I think it's, I guess it's pretty cool, I guess, but I, I just, I just hate you so much.